Alright guys, what's up? It's your boy Drew, or Spongy, coming back with a brand, another uh, breakdown trailer video. Um, I was looking at my last one, and it just really wasn't that great, in my opinion. Um, you know, it was just a first first look of it, um, and what I had to say about it, right off rip. But, guys, I want to go back and actually physically break down every big scene uh, that we see here. I'm just going to move my, my webcam up here, because I don't think anything huge is coming up over up here um but guys let's just get right into this um and I'll, i will try to do my best to break down um i'm not a drag racing expert so i want to just clarify that i'm not a drag racing expert by all means but i do know a lot about the sport and watching the trailer a few times over i have i have caught quite a few things that are inconsistent with reality and it, and it does promote that it is a very you know it, it's a it's a game that's gonna, sh you know, a lot of real life physics in it, but they need to fix a lot of things before they can hold true to that quote. So let's start off by, um, total loud. All right. Um, first thing, like I said earlier, the, the sponsors not on the cars. They need to fix that. That has to be that. That is a must fix. And if they don't have the sponsor, if they don't have the okay from the from the actual sponsorship like Chevy and stuff like that. They they need to find a way to get those because you know it, it makes it makes the game incomplete, and that's a big part. Like I said earlier in my previous video, it makes that's a big part of it. So. Um. Another part up here, this right here, like I said earlier, that has to be cut out. They can't do that. That's not how it works in the real in real life. You don't rev a nitro car or it blows up. But one thing I, I do have to appreciate though, um, which I think we'll see up here. Um, I think with this trailer, they're trying to show off the graphics of it, you know? But one thing I have to appreciate here is um, like the graphics of the track itself. Like it looks good. It looks really good. And you can tell this is Auto Club Raceway at Pomona. Um, and I gotta say, like this, the graphics of the track look look great. Now, it would be cool if they added force feedback into the game. I don't know how, if that's possible or not, but I think that would be an amazing feature to have in this in this game. Um, especially when you're, you know, you know, to be able to feel the bumps of the track. I don't know if they actually scanned them. Pro they probably didn't, um, but it would be amazing if you'd be able to feel the vibration in your controller. You know, you know I don't have a racing sim for this. You know, this isn't a, a big racing sim thing, which... If they did make, you know, a steering quad or a steering uh, quadrant for a top field drag so you have like a, not like a, if they made that, that'd be amazing, but that's not going to happen most likely because as much as this is my, one of my favorite automotive sports, if not my favorite, it's not the most popular, you know, so yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. All right, let's move on. Um... There is one big thing I want to say in the cockpit. Where what what's going on with this cockpit? No display working. It's this looks sloppy. If I'm gonna be honest. Again, I I, I can't do any better. If any, I'd probably make this game look way worse. But you have to make the interiors look great. That's one thing I love about the the old drag racing countdown to the champion chips and stuff like that is the fact of how good the interior looked of the vehicles um right here oh we go back just a little bit why is it maxing at 208 miles per hour these cars get up to way past 330 you know they need to uh, like parachutes aren't deployed here you know you know they should be number one this is towards the end of the track. The finish line is probably about a hundred hundred foot ago, and they they hit they hit their parachutes, and he's still on the throttle. 
But if he does this, he's probably gonna, you know. So. And I, I don't know. It's just like I'm not. I don't want to shit on this, but the body's just, you know, like right here, they look nothing like the beginning. I mean, they they kind of do. Like just it's just like the bodies of the funny cars. They're not as pristine as you know. We look at you know. You look at a picture, right? A reference picture of John Forces, right? Because that's a. Oh shoot. That's the car that they're they're taking here, <gasps> right? Look at all those dents, right? It's not that difficult to program or you know design that into the game, right? You have, you know, the the aerodynamics here, right? Here in the actual trailer, it's sloppy. It's just it's not, you know, it's not the same looking car, right? This looks like it's an alcohol funny car from back in. You know, early 2000s. Like, 2008. It looks like one of those, like, an older funny car body. It doesn't really look brand sneak and new. Like, there's no, there was no definition there. I do like the Pro Mod. I, I'm very happy they added Pro Mod. Because these are, if not, like, one of the coolest cars that they race. Um, right here... This this graphics when right from like this angle looks a little sloppy, but I you know I if I wanted a perfect game, it's not it's impossible, you know, but like you know like this looks good. Those again those parachutes so those, those got to go. Those are stupidly big. Wait. Two, two times bigger than what they normally are. Um, and again, the little sun blocker right here on the Christmas tree itself. That's, that's needed. That's pretty much everything I've seen from this actual um from from the from the actual a uh, trailer that I I see that needs fixing. There's a lot of issues that need fixing. They still have two months. I am hopeful that they they uh they take a look. But let's take actually a look at some of the screenshots, right? So this is the authentic NHRA experience, right? So this not going to lie when I look at this, it kind of it kind of reminds me of a um, of a mobile game, if I'm gonna be honest. Just seeing they they can do something better, right? With this, you know, they can they can make this look cleaner for uh, your upgrades, right? So it looks like you know Super Street. Which I didn't know they, I didn't think they said that they're doing Super Street, but that's cool. Um, yeah, that's just right there, right? You know, I I don't know how how I feel with this this look. I don't. I think it just it looks like a mobile game, and I I don't know exactly what they're uh, how. I think the 2007 game did it very nicely. I don't, I, you know, at the same time, I, they have, there's a lot of other issues in that game. Like, there's, you know, you're able to choose your sponsor, but you aren't really to play sponsorships where you wanted them. And I, and I kind of hope, that's what I hope for this game, is that, you know, people are going to come and they are going to, you know, pay you extra amount of money and you get to place a sponsor on your car and do a full, be able to customize it kind of like a paint booth in NASCAR, right? And again, this is the first game out of hopefully a few games that they'll come out with. And hopefully, you know, Game Mill will, will bring on aboard some more people who do automotive racing simulation games. But besides that, guys, um, 
again, I, I don't, like, I don't really know, you know, like, cool, you get to do your own suit. You, you get ultimate, okay, so that's cool, you get alternate uh, paint schemes, which are nice. So if you just want to hop into, you know, if you like a specific car, you know, you can hop into that. But I don't know how, you know, this is, um, like this, like, I don't, again, I want this over my last video, and I just, I don't know how this is going to go, right? I'm going to pre-order the Ultimate Edition when it comes out for 80 bucks, whenever I'm, a I'm able to, whether that's day of ordering it or whatever. It does say it's on Steam, but again, if you go on the Steam, you know, you search up NHRA, it's not there. So, that's all I have to say. That's my more in-depth breakdown into um, um, you know I think I'm the only person who voted for Sean Lehman. That's a that's a you guys should go vote for Sean Lehman. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, if you guys agree or disagree with me, please put your uh, comments down below. I, I'm I want to hear your guys' opinions on this game. Um, whether you think it's going to be a bust, I kind of feel like it is going to be a bust based off of this first trailer. Hopefully we get something in a few weeks. Um, but make sure you guys do hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I I will be keeping you guys up to my best of my ability up to date with the most recent news about this game. Um, and then hopefully get on some gameplay as soon as I can. But besides that, guys, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. <coughs> If you guys did, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you guys know when I upload another video. Um, but besides that, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, if you guys are bored, you want to do something else. I do have a ser I do have you know an older you know my NHRA career mode. I'm on episodes. There's seven episodes out right now, as of right now. Um, but also, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all all the support. And stuff like that on my my especially my drag racing videos, definitely my my highest watched series. And again, I really I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys again. Um, again, like the, hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Adios.